Good afternoon everyone and welcome to another restaurant vlog here on the channel. Now as you can see it is all about Chinese food today. Mm. What is the best Chinese restaurant in Tenerife? I'm sure so many of you will be shouting out at the TV now but we've got our favourites. We're going to be venturing to one of our favourites today. Yeah. Like that? Mm -hmm. like that? So actually down here, it's actually daytime here in uh, Las Americas down on the beach. Gorgeous afternoon and we're going to be doing a lunch Chinese today rather than a dinner. We're going to be doing daytime a lot of people don't know this restaurant is open in the daytime the menu that they've got so you can come off the beach here and have a nice lunch you can make it as jazzy or as casual as you like we've dressed up a bit haven't we feeling make it, nice make a day of it yeah i'm really excited it's a nice restaurant so i thought i'd make an epic and it's a restaurant that laura actually used to work Ooh, at yeah so uh, we do know it very very well we're looking forward to it and we're looking forward to having lunch we're always out in you know at dinner time tea time but what about people who love to go out for lunch and then they have a snack for tea or people who like to start the day at lunch so have a nice big meal and then have some afternoon drinks and head to bed at a decent time for everyone an afternoon lunch isn't it I 100% agree so let's take ourselves in we're gonna be going into the safari center I'm sure some of you already know what it is already uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments we're gonna head over uh, enjoy the views as we go and show you everything all of our food the menu the experience and you will have seen this restaurant on the channel before. The other videos I've done, I will link down in the description, but uh, let's get venturing. Can't wait. So here we are then, just back from El Camasan Beach is the Safari Center, and we're gonna be heading on upstairs to Tai Pan. Uh, this is where it does have the teppanyaki table, which we filmed on the channel before. I'll link that in the description. I'm actually coming to the teppanyaki table tomorrow night. Yeah. So I'm having lunch in here in, in Taipan on the normal menu. Then I'm coming back to the teppanyaki menu tomorrow night with Dad. Because uh, yeah. I do really like that's where they cook it with the fire and everything. I'll you show you that hot plate. Love it, yeah. Yeah. And it's got a lovely evening atmosphere up here as well. Uh, but of an afternoon, this is nice, sunny up here, nice and quiet quite calm I would say of an evening it can be quite yeah you know busy. Well, let's say about the restaurant you've got inside outside under the cover and outside in the sun so you can sit wherever you like so you've got it's a really of good options. yeah so it depends what you're after you've got everything for everyone yeah and you can if you're gonna drive down here like we have you just park in the underground underneath a couple of euros we're directly opposite the main Ostrom resorts other side of that is the beach so it's easy to yeah. find let's uh, head on up I'm very hungry now we've been in work this morning it's uh, currently about two o'clock and I'm excited to uh, have a little bit of lunch now. Here we go, Imperial Thai Pan. Here we are, we are in Laura looking very glamorous Thank and it is of you. course International Women's Day today. A perfect day for me to have a nice light lunch. Yeah, treat you to lunch. You're gonna have a little, maybe a little glass of wine oh, or something. Yeah, so I'll see what uh, we've got on the menu. It's a big menu. Yeah, Laura's just been catching up with uh, Rachel, who used to work with you back in back in back the day. In the day, yeah, she used to work with. She was my boss back in the day. Yeah, Rachel's yeah. lovely. Always very friendly staff in here. Always. It's changed a lot over the years since we've come in terms of staff, but they're always always friendly, yeah. aren't we? Um, so let me just show you what we've got going on on the menu. You've got different uh, banquets if you want to share for two or three or four people. All the different soups. I do love my uh, slow boat chicken and sweet corn soup. I think that's what I might go for today as a little bit of a starter. And you've got all your traditional starters as well. Crispy spring rolls, spare ribs, king prawns. There's absolutely loads on this menu. I'll, I will leave the link in the description. You can read the menu fully online properly uh, in your own time. Then you've got your different meats, seafood, vegetarian, and then all your different sauces. So, might have a nice crispy chicken in uh, curry sauce, the crispy coated chicken number 65, or maybe in the satay peanut sauce. Oh, the satay in here is amazing. I know, it's, you can't it's go all so nice, isn't it? You can't it? go wrong in here. It's so really a lot, isn't there? So in terms of drinks, I've gone for a nice sweet white wine today, which is absolutely it's delicious. It's got a sort of rosy tint to it though. Really nice that. Laura, tell us what you've gone for. I've gone for a rosetta, which is a chilled rosé wine with freshly muddled strawberries and blackberry liqueur. 
So give it a try. You've not tried it yet. It does look very nice. Made with love there. Oh, so don't forget, everyone, you don't just have to have lunch. You can come up and enjoy some uh, cocktails and wine as well. Yeah. It is nice and chilled up here today. Definitely. I did just mention about having a drink, and you can also come up here for a bottomless brunch. So this is the brunch menu. You've got light brunch, so you can have A and B with a drink. Uh, so that's a bit of a lighter lunch if you don't eat too much. Or you can go for the normal brunch, which is A and C, and a drink, which is a bit more of a bigger uh, main course. Or you can go bottomless, which is uh, unlimited house wine, cocktail, carver, um, carver, carver cocktails. cocktails, I should say, Heineken, soft drinks, all within two hours. And then on the other side here, you can see all your different options, your starters, your light ones, if you just want to take it nice and easy. Or you have got main course as well. So you've got like your chicken curry on there as well. So it's a good price, bottomless as well. If you fancy going for it, you want to have a few very glasses good. of wine it's and a enjoy very yourself. Good price. Now I will say I done bottomless brunch a while ago in Bianco's. I did come out a little bit tipsy and it was amazing. So definitely worth, definitely worth the money. Or if you've got a celebration, if you've got a birthday, it's, uh, you can yeah. see people are piling in now. It has opened, opened oh, the restaurant opened about half an hour ago. Yeah. And now uh, people are starting to head in. But I also like the extra details. Like it's Women's Day. You've got all the lovely balloons around, all decorated. It is lovely, yeah. yeah. Any really special nice. days, they do make a nice effort. They do, yeah. So I think personally I'm going to go off the main menu here. But bear this menu in mind. You want to come in in the daytime like us and enjoy. You've got different options if someone's a big eater. But you know, maybe your partner wants just a light bite. You have got those options, or if you want to just have, you know, you can literally just come in and have a soup and a drink. You can just go off the main menu. But I think that is a good price, very good option. That full brunch, twenty euros with a drink as well, and then also don't forget you can download your app, get your points. You may have seen many of these restaurants on the channel before already. Uh, Empire we were in only the other day, which is just over there which is one of our favorite steak houses. I love the steak and ale pudding in that one. You've got Bianco's, there's so many now. Thai Botanico again, which is just over the way. We've done that on the channel before. So uh, do check that out. So our lovely server there was just explaining that on the app and also on the website you can make your reservations. Now what the lady was saying was those peak eating hours, seven, half, seven, eight, they really do fill up quickly. The lady was saying people are booking six months in advance, especially for those high seasons. So that's why it's nice to come in the day because you can just walk in. There's normally a free table. You haven't got to worry too much about reserving. You haven't got to worry, you know, about being... You know, if you like it a little bit quieter, but if you do want to have evening meals, which I've made my reservation for Taipan tomorrow, I made that over a week ago, do make sure you jump online, it's dead easy to do, or on the app, if you want the early slots as well. Well, now, not only the prawn crackers good in here, but there's a big bonus of the prawn crackers in here, and that's that Laura can't have any, so just going to slide these over Laura, and slide over my sauce and uh, once my soup arrives I'll be doing a little bit more dunking but for now we've got a little bit of uh, sweet and sour sauce nice mm -hmm. do you like a prawn cracker don't you deep fry yeah. me and call me crackers because <laughs> these are lovely well here we go chicken and sweet corn soup I know it's good because I was only in here about a week or so ago with dad having it on the teppanyaki table Mm. It's got that slight bit of peppery taste to it. Really nice. Not too thin. I don't like it when it's really thin. Nice. Well, chicken and sweet corn soup and uh, all of the prawn crackers are now gone. That was a delicious starter. This is my one meal of the day. But it is nice in here because you've got sunny tables over there, shaded ones here, but we're still outside with the fresh air. Or you can be fully inside as well. I'm going to show you in a second the tapenyaki table, which isn't on of a daytime at night time. That's a really special experience that I'm looking forward to coming back tomorrow for that. But double might as well just sleep here tonight. Might as well have breakfast and everything in the morning. Yeah, dad's, my dad's coming back over and it's his favourite dinner. I think both of ours, we loved it. We loved the show and the fire and all of that going on. I'll try and include a few clips. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to that tomorrow. So I will show you that table, but you've got three different options really. You've got out in the full sun, 
outside but in the shade or inside completely shaded air conditioning so plenty of options that was delicious that delicious got full names on the way yet So just as I mentioned, this is the tapanyaki table. So this is where they cook in front of you. All the flames are going. You get a bit of a show. Really, really good fun this. And I'm going to be in here somewhere tomorrow night. Looking forward to that with Dad. And yeah, this is all your inside area. So nice music on, air conditioning going as well, which is good. So it is nice and cool in here. But yeah, this here, very special. You've got a special occasion. You love your food. You love watching it being cooked, things like that. Definitely recommend this experience then it is main meal time oh. what have we got here then laura we have got oh chicken white wine and we've got singapore vermicelli i got it with chicken rather than king prawns and it's all gluten-free as well for me so it's I'm very excited. nice we've also got these are not on the menu but we did kindly ask and they've of course done them for us because they are like that here and they are salt and pepper chips there we go you can always ask you never know well do if they've been on the menu forever it's easy to me they're just not written on there but they are a yeah. special little treat if you do like salt and pepper there you go, chips. if you want a little treat with your dinner yeah. so i'm just uh, waiting for mine now we're going to be delving in i've got my white rice Ooh, there ready spices. to go as well very nice you can make this as big or as little as you want this is going to be our lunch and dinner today yeah here's my crispy chicken in satay sauce look at that how fresh does it look as well love the plates they're very different yeah it's look amazing. how fresh that looks Doing good there, Laura. Singapore vermicelli is amazing. About 15 scrumptious minutes later, yeah. we are now stuffed to the brim here. Laura's taking the noodles home the noodles for home. a uh, little bit of a tea tonight. Yeah. And uh, my chicken satay was absolutely delicious. That was amazing. Um, I'm full Loved to the it. brim here. Definitely full. Lovely little cocktail. Definitely full. Love the atmosphere. And uh, yeah, go to uh, relax now. It was nice to eat for a change at this time of the day. And I was thinking before, you could go. You could have your favourite restaurants that you go to all the time. But going to them in the day it almost feels like a new restaurant. This doesn't feel like the place where I come. And have my tap and no, it doesn't at all, it does it? It's completely different because it's daytime. Yeah. So I would recommend giving it a go in the day. You've also got the others along the way. You've got Empire uh, across there. You've also got Bianco's there. Do let us know in the comments if you think we should uh, go and try those ones out in the daytime. Yeah. Do some daytime, more videos yeah. of those. But yeah, being out on Safari Centre, if anyone knows this area, it's lovely up here in the day. Nice atmosphere, isn't it? And then you could finish now, go and have a little bit of shopping. You could go down to the beach. You can have a wander. Do what you like. Go for a cocktail in Harry. Go for a cocktail in Bianco's. You the name it. oyster, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know me, everyone on this channel. I can't resist my sweet You've got treats, to have can dessert, I? Haven't you? So I have gone for the chocolate fondant, which does look ho house made, homemade. That you can tell because it's not the usual standard one they give out. Look at the presentation on that. That looks amazing. Had to be done, Laura. It did. It had I'm to be done. I'm back in the gym tomorrow. <laughs> Little treats had to be done here. Well. It is definitely homemade, absolutely gorgeous. It's almost like a bit of an orangey tint to the sauce in the middle. Mm. Nice, yeah. Really nice. I'm not too overpowering with the chocolate sauce because it is a little bit orangey. It's not too intense, the chocolate. Gorgeous, that. Well, there we go. That chocolate fondant has well and truly polished me off now. It's about half three. And I'm like, oof. You're settled now, um, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, oh, that was to... absolutely gorgeous. I'm done for the day, though. Really enjoyed eating at a different time of the day as a change. As I said, it makes a, a, a restaurant you've been to many times feel completely new doing it in the day. Yeah, definitely. Really, really, really enjoyed the atmosphere and the staff are amazing. And because it's in the daytime, it's a bit quieter, so you can get more of a one on one service as well. So the service was like the best. Service is always good, but as Laura said, it feels slightly more personal yes. with less people around. Maybe that's just a psychological thing, but it did feel more one-on-one. -on -one. Different staff in the daytime as well to the night, but they're all lovely. I'm back in there tomorrow night, which uh, right now I couldn't do, but tomorrow night I will save myself all day and I'll be ready for that teppanyaki. Do please let us know your thoughts in the comments. Let us know if we should maybe come and try Bianco's. You've got... Um, 
Empire down there where I love the steak and ale. We've got Thai Botanico even further down, which I absolutely adore, yeah. Then you've got others around as well. You've got your Dados, street food in Las Americas. If you go to the X uh, shopping centre in Costa Rideki, you've got uh, Meat Boutique, you've got Mrs. Miyagi's. We've filmed that on the channel before. I'll link that in the description too. We've also got another Dados next door as well. So you can go to one of those restaurants and maybe order something from a different restaurant as well whilst you're there. Yeah, if someone fancies maybe. a bit of Chinese, you can try and mix it up a little bit. Yeah. But let us know your thoughts. Do please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you do subscribe if you're new. We've got loads of restaurant videos on the channel, over a thousand videos. So do uh, check out the other videos. And uh, make sure you give Adventure a follow on Facebook. If you do want to make a reservation for Taipan, uh, do go online or download the app or just pop up and see the lovely host at the door. Uh, but that is it from us. Thank you very much for watching and uh, whew, stride on. Bye, guys. Fancy a chocolate fondant? <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>